In today's video, we'll be doing a full review and walkthrough of a fairly new AI copywriter called Brainwork. I came across Brainwork first on AppSumo and there was a couple of things that immediately stuck out to me. The first was pricing for $79. That's a pretty good starting plan for a lifetime deal to any AI copywriters. And if you wanted to include more AI generated words per month, then you can go ahead and get the upper license. So you can get the license two or the license three, which will be a little bit more money, but you can get more words creation each month. And the highest tier is the license tier four, which gives you 500,000 AI generated words per month for a one-time purchase of $400. So if you're a content agency or you're creating a lot of content, this would be a really good deal. Apart from the pricing, there was a couple other features that really jumped out to me. And the first is the keyword analyzer. So it seems that Brainwork actually has a keyword tool built into the AI copywriter. And the second is the long form assistant. There seems to be a lot of built in features such as the ability to include images and you have a SEO analyzer on the right hand side, which will help you to optimize your content while creating it in Brainwork. In addition to these features, all plans include unlimited keyword search. So you can search as many keywords as you like, and you have the website keyword ranking tool, and they also have a built-in plagiarism checker. So this is a really, really good and useful feature. So I would definitely want to go ahead and check that out when we get into the full review. And you also have unlimited copyright free images from Unsplash, and you also have WordPress integration included, which means you should be able to publish your post or copy your post right from Brainwork into WordPress. And as you can see, there's many other features that we'll get into in just a little bit. So let's go ahead and get started with the full review and walkthrough of Brainwork. Once you've signed up for a Brainwork account, I recommend getting the AppSumo lifetime deal. If it is available, I'll leave a link in the description below. If not, you can also get a free five day trial I'll also leave that in the description below. So the AI writing assistant would be comparable to Jarvis or Jasper's AI writing assistant and the AI blog titles and AI blog outlines would be templates in which you can use to get specific content for your title and for your outline. But most of your AI copywriting will be done in the AI writing assistant. But we have one more feature that's included in Brainwork that I really like, which is the keyword research tool. So you can actually go ahead and do some top level keyword research right from the Brainwork dashboard. So even before you start creating your content for your blog post, you can go ahead and do some research to see if it's possible for your blog to rank for that specific keyword. Or if you're looking for keyword ideas to write for, you can go ahead and use this keyword tool. So all you have to do is think about whatever topic or idea that you wanna write about and type that into the toolbar and click search. So as you can see for the keyword, what are NFTs? So we can see the volume for this keyword is 5.4 thousand. So 5,400 times this keyword is being searched up each month on Google. And as we can see, the difficulty is 100. So this is a number between zero and 100. So of course, if you're getting 100, then that would mean it's very difficult for you to rank for this keyword in the organic Google search. Now the competition number is a number again between zero and 100, but this is the estimated competition level for paid search. So if you were to pay uh, for this keyword using Google ads, then they're saying that the competition is fairly low. But again, you'd want to focus mostly on the difficulty number because this is the difficulty of ranking in the organic search of Google, which is what most blog posts would strive to do. So just focus on the difficulty. Um, I wouldn't really look too much into the competition number. And if you look at the results or the SERP, it shows you the number of results on search engines for this keyword. So for this keyword, what are NFTs? There's over 2.7 billion results that show up for the keyword. So that means it's a very popular topic. And if a topic is very popular and there's so much content around it, it may be harder for you to rank for that topic. And if you scroll down, you'll be able to see the trend for this keyword. So it shows you which months were more popular than other months. 
for the, your specific keyword. And again, if you scroll down a little bit more, you're gonna see some additional keyword ideas. So you'll see variations of that keyword in which you searched up. So what are NFT stocks? What are NFT games? So on and so forth. And if you wanna go ahead and if you click that, so if you click into any of these uh, related keywords, then you would get back um, some analytics for that specific keyword as we got for what are NFT. So if you scroll down, you'll be able to see the top questions that people ask. So the top questions readers are asking relating to this keyword. So you wanna include these questions within your blog post. So this would be like the related searches um, at the bottom of a Google SERP. And the last section will tell you the top 10 ranking blog posts. So it'll actually pull the SERP overview for that keyword and show you the top 10 ranking posts. So this is really good information. You can go ahead and take a look at the top ranking post to see what information they included in their blog post and you wanna model that when creating your blog post. So if you go ahead and read the tip that's given, it says that these are the top 10 posts that you're competing against. Study their post, see what they're missing and add that to your post to increase the chance of ranking higher on Google. Now the question is, does this keyword research tool replace other tools such as Ahrefs, Ubersuggest or SEMrush? And the short answer would be no. This is just an integration in an AI copywriter while those other tools are made to be keyword research tools. But if you don't have access to those other keyword research tools, then this would be a good alternative. So all in all, this is a pretty good integration and a very useful feature that Brainwork has included. So once you've done your keyword research, you wanna go ahead and start writing your blog post. So let's go ahead and head over to the AI writing assistant. The first thing that you need to do is enter the keyword in which you're writing about. So whatever keyword you're writing, just enter it into this toolbar and click continue. For this example, we'll be writing about how to create a blog and make money. And we get a nice big green check mark, which tells us that the AI has been trained on this topic and that there is a high probability that the content generated will be good quality. If you're writing some very specific or technical information, then you might get a message from the AI saying that you wouldn't really get very good content. But I haven't really encountered that as yet, but I do like that they give you a heads up before creating the content to let you know whether or not you can expect to get some good output for your blog topic. Once you've entered your keywords, you need to include variations of the keyword into your blog post. So this is again gonna give the blog AI some more information. So just go ahead and choose whichever keywords you think are most related to your blog post. And you can also add additional keywords. So if you don't see a keyword in here that you wanna include, you wanna go ahead and type that in here. And this is important. So you wanna give the AI as much information as possible to make sure that you get relevant and high quality content. And note that you can only select up to five keywords. Once you're happy, go ahead and click create. The first thing that you wanna do is generate your title. So on the right hand side, there's currently no titles generated. So I'm just gonna go, go ahead and click generate. And the AI is going to use the keywords that we inputted to give us some titles. Okay, so how to create a blog and make money, a step-by-step -step guide, I like that one. How to create a blog and make money, the complete guide, how to create a blog and make money. So I like this one the best, so let's go ahead and just um, add that into our long form assistant. Now the second thing we're going to generate is an outline. So it's pretty simple, again, the AI already has information, so all we have to do is click the outline and read through the content. So the long form assistant actually walks you through the content creation process. So very beginner friendly and very easy to use. So here's the first outline that we got. A blog can be a great way to make money online. If you're wondering how to create a blog, you are in the right place. In this article, we will show you how to start a blog and make money from it. Step one, choose a blogging platform. Step two, choose a domain. Three, set up your blog. Step four, start writing posts. Step five, monetize your blog. And step six, promote your blog. Wow, this is a really, really good outline and exactly what we wanna talk about. And if you don't get an outline or any content that you like, you can always generate more. But I'm really happy with this outline that we got here. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste that into our long form assistant. So next is SEO. So our SEO score right now is 42. 
So it gives us some recommendations of what we can do to increase our SEO score. So essentially this would be part of your on-page optimization. So instead of having to optimize your content after you create it, you can actually do it in real time while creating your content. I really like this feature because I can tell that, that it'll help you save some time and you wouldn't have to go ahead and then try to optimize your content after you've created it. So really nice feature right there. And if we head over next to the SEO tab is keywords. So this will be a breakdown of the keywords that we're using. So we see our primary keyword, which is how to create a blog and make money, but we can also see related keywords. So blog post, create a blog, personal blog, how to blog. And if we scroll down, we can see some questions. And if we like these questions, we can actually go ahead and then just add it into our blog post. We can actually add any keyword here. So if you want to include some related keywords, and if you haven't included it into your blog post, just go ahead to the keywords tab and then add it into your blog post. So really neat feature there as well. Okay, so now that we have a nice little outline done, let's go ahead and start getting some content for our body paragraphs. In order to generate content for your body paragraphs, you wanna go ahead and highlight whichever title or heading you wanna write about. And once you do that, you'll have a couple options. You can either get a paragraph, which means it'll write some content for that topic. You can get a listicle style content. So it'll be a list of content in which um, you will get back and you can get steps. Now I believe steps would be different steps that you can take for that specific title or heading. You can rephrase or you can summarize. So let's go ahead and hit paragraph. So this is what we got back. They are a few different blogging platforms to choose from, but the most popular one is WordPress. It's free to use and you can create a blog in minutes. Okay, so that's good. Um, let's see if we can get some more content here. Okay, so that content that we got was a little bit short. So what I did was I highlighted the step one again and I clicked paragraph and we were actually able to get some more content here. So there are many different blogs platforms to choose from, but the most popular ones are WordPress, Blogger, and Tumblr. WordPress is the most popular and the most versatile. Da da da. Blogger is a good choice if you want a simple platform with limited customization options. And Tumblr is perfect for creating short multimedia posts. Okay, so that's not bad at all. Um, and if you actually wanted some more content, I do see that there's a button in here and it's green. So let's go ahead and click that and let's see if we can get some more content for our paragraph. So once we hit that uh, green compose button, we get some more content here. So it talks about once you've decided on a platform, the next step is to create your blog. This process will vary depending on the platform you choose, but most platforms will walk you through the steps of creating an account and setting up your blog. Okay, so that's really good, really relevant. After your blog is created, the next step is to start publishing content. So then it goes into talking about how to actually start creating content for your blog post. Once you've started publishing content, the next step is to start building an audience. So my first impressions are that I like the content. I think the quality is pretty good. I like that it's following a linear path and it's sort of starting or picking off from where it left off. So that's really good because sometimes some AI copywriters can sort of go off track. So this content overall is pretty good. It's just not maybe as relevant for how to choose a blogging platform, but it would be much better in the setting up your blog section. So it is good content. Uh, we just had to rearrange it a little bit, which is normal when using an AI copywriter. So let's go ahead and try to get some content for the step two, which is choosing a domain. So again, I'm going to highlight that and click paragraph. And that was pretty quick content that we got back from the AI. So that's a good sign as well. I like things that are quick. Um, some AI copywriters can be a little bit slow. Okay, so not bad content as well. Let's go ahead again and click the compose button. Let's see if we can get some more content. We actually get some pretty good um, output. So it talks about when selecting a provider, it's important to consider the price, features, and customer service. So some providers offer a discount of multiple years and some may offer a free domain name. If you wanna go ahead and get more content, just go ahead and copy the last sentence and hit paragraph because that seems to expand the sentence um, of the AI. Okay, so I've done it again and it works. So that's the method that you wanna use when using Brainwork to help you get better content and more content for your blog post paragraphs. I'm gonna skip down to step six, uh, which talks about promoting your blog because I wanna use one of these other 
content types. So I want to do either a listicle or steps. So here's the content that we got when we use the listicle style content. Use social media to promote your blog, share your blog post on relevant forums and discussion boards, submit your blog post to popular article directories. And the last is include a link to your blog in your email signature. Make use of paid promotion services to increase traffic to your blog. Okay, so that was way better than these steps. So maybe you can play around with this yourself. If you're trying to get more of a list style content, you can either go ahead and try the listicle or steps. In this case, we got better content when using listicle. And once you've finished creating your blog post, you have a couple other features that are very useful. So on the left hand side of your dashboard, you'd actually be able to use the plagiarism checker. And this is built in. So what this is going to do is it's going to read your content and check for plagiarism. And it's powered by Copyscape, which is a very reputable plagiarism checker. So you can be very confident that your content is all original content and you would have no issues posting this anywhere on your blog. In other AI copywriting tools, you would either have to pay for an additional plagiarism checker or you'd have to use an external one. So this is really awesome that this feature is included in your framework plan and there's also no limit on the amount of plagiarism checks that you can do. So great job by Brainwork to include that in their plans. So some other cool features are that you have access to images from Unsplash. So if you wanted to go ahead and include any images into your blog post, you can do that right here. You can search up any images that you like and just go ahead and click the check mark button and then click done and boom, your image is included right there. So this is really awesome. You can literally do everything instead of Brainwork. So you can see that the team behind Brainwork were very thoughtful when creating this AI copywriter. They've included all of the features and all of the integrations that you need to help you create your post and then get it up on your website, all in their AI copywriter. I'll definitely be doing a full review of how to research, write, and optimize a blog post using Brainwork. But my first impressions are that this is a very promising and a very good AI content writer. It includes all of the important features and integrations that you can find in different AI copywriters, but they put it all into one place. If you like this video, then give us a big thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials in the near future. Until next time, stay well.